Alright, welcome back to Rosemont University. Those emergency doors have the bars on the wrong side, I think. Yeah, they're supposed to open outwards, aren't they? That flag was backwards for a while also. For a while in the game, that flag was backwards. We had to ride a bug to flip it around. Don't shoot, don't shoot! Dr. Weir? No, I'm Lawrence Bailey. I... I work with Dr. Weir. We need to find Dr. Weir. He's in danger. Well, that's what I've been trying to tell Alan, uh, Dr. Weir. But he won't listen. He's been in the observatory ever since the attack. What the hell is Weir doing in the observatory? Does he want a better look before getting himself killed? There's a lab below the observatory. It's where we've been doing his research. We were close to a breakthrough before... All of this. I hate to break it to you, but we don't have time to wait. I know, I know. I, I thought if I collected his research notes, maybe he could be convinced. Uh, What's so time for more exposition. Risk his life to test it. My theory, or rather, our theory, posits that it is possible to bridge two points in space, allowing the transfer of, well, anything. So you think mm. that's how the outsiders came here? Teleportation. More than that, the doctor and I think that it could be the key to reaching wherever the outsiders came from. Thinking fast, Lawrence. No weapons, no training. How are you still alive? I know my way around here well enough to stay hidden, or at least I did before they began their terraforming. Seeds, terraforming. Seeds. You mean the machines that Whoops. keep growing? Yes, and don't get Alan started on trying <laughs> to study those. It's already hard enough to convince him to leave. Nobody said anything about well, seeds, I know we Carter. Can trust you. Well, I could ask you the same. It worries me when people don't answer my questions. Forgive me. It's just. They swept through here and killed anyone who resisted. My friends, my colleagues, some of them, they looked human at first, before the attack. They did that to us too, but believe me, we're gonna pay them back. I'm sure Alan can help you. He has a real gift. Now all we have to do is reach him. Head back out the way we came in. The street's clear. We could try to evacuate when we pull out. I'd prefer to meet you at the observatory lab. I can stay out of sight, so let me go first. You're going to attract a lot of attention. You'll never make it. <laughs> Trust me. I'll be fine. <laughs> so, Lawrence Bailey... Lawrence, we found Weir's assistant. Whoops. He says the doctor's holed up in a lab under the observatory. That's across the campus from you. Head out the back and you've got a straight shot. Good. No telling how long Weir's gonna last out there. So I got a question for you, man. Goddamn, Lawrence. Where did it go? <laughs> seven, apparently 7,000 meters away. <gasps> Look! There's a shiny thing. Falk. What's that? There's an outsider weapon here. In one piece. All the ones we've seen so far explode when the user dies. The boys in the lab will want to get their hands on that. I'm gonna see if I can secure it. Be careful, Carter. It could be a trap. Hey, Carter, that shiny thing on the ground. Pick it up. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the scatter laser. This is your laser shotgun. This is the observatory. This is a no, repurposed weapon model. This was originally a weapon called the, um... Uh... Shit. <laughs> what it was called. It was a Contra-style pulse rifle with bullets that, uh, tracked targets, though. Aw, oh, neat. Um... I don't remember why we changed it. Uh, I think it was because... I really don't remember, honestly. Uh, oh, right. We had a big restructuring of our weapons later in development that wanted to bring them all along the lines of the enemy unknown weapons. Oh, so yeah, my... we changed it into the laser shotgun from the uh, homing Contra spread fire, which was too bad. Anyway, this is the sniper upgrade thing. You get to choose between uh, more defense or more offense. Uh, snipers are great for killing shit, so I usually go with offense. That is the objectively correct choice, yes. Um, sadly, we did not have as much time to balance the perk trees as we wanted. There are objectively correct perk trees and objectively incorrect perk trees for this game. <laughs> yeah, it's usually pretty easy to tell which are which. Fortunately, yes. Keep the pressure on him! So, Lord Bailey. Lawrence Bailey is an interesting character. Um, as I will say as many times throughout these commentaries, we had to rewrite this story. And by we, I mean not me, but I mean the writers in the studio. They had to rewrite the story so many times that everyone lost count. They did, in fact, have to do at least one major rewrite after we had locked dialogue recording. Yeah, I noticed a little yeah. later on, like, 
they reference Lawrence as uh, one of them a lot when given what we've seen we're well actually we haven't seen anything yet so we'll talk about yeah. that a little later we'll talk about that when we see it but uh this Lawrence was originally a very very different character than he is he originally had a much larger role in this mission than he does now oh and my commando got his pulse ability <gasps> yeah Return nearby enemies, knocking them away and disorienting them. Damage is low, but it can keep foes at bay or push them into a trap. Yeah, comparing this game to Mass Effect is not unfair. Yeah, we didn't have that many ideas for powers, but frankly, there's no monopoly on having a power that knocks dudes over because, frankly, it's awesome. It Especially is. if you can throw a grenade in the middle of them after you do it. I'm out of grenades. I used them all in the stupid muton. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, hey. Grenades are my preferred way to deal with gun turrets. Yeah, turrets, turrets are... Turrets are weird. Yeah. We had turrets. They used to have dudes manning them. Then it was too easy to kill them. We had them in the E3 demo. We couldn't just get rid of them, even though they didn't really make that much sense. But There's an explosive barrel there that I should be able to shoot, but just can't quite. Yes, welcome to the fact that all of our weapons have disc discrete ranges in this game. Uh, they're just ranges on them. The uh, the hitbox for the thing was too big. That barrel might also have a weird hitbox. I'm not sure. I, I, I get it eventually. If you get it down from here, it's easy. There you go. And it, it doesn't even affect the gun. Yeah. Yeah, those explosive barrels were supposed to all be cut. So... But the order to cut them came at a point where we are. The yard. Yard. The order to cut all the explosive barrels came at a point where we had locked a lot of the levels already, and we didn't want to mess with the levels, because deleting the barrels would have required rebuilding pathing here. for a lot of them. So we didn't want to rebuild pathing for this level, so we couldn't cut the explosive barrels from it. As a result, they are placed a little weirdly. And what's this? I love how somebody falls from the sky and Carter and his agents are kind of like, eh, yeah. probably nothing. <laughs> it must be I've nothing. Seen weirder. <laughs> we see weirder shit today. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe Again, not. Per my first time through the game, this is a pretty big oh shit moment. See that destruction simulation? That was a crowning achievement for some of our effects artists. That destruction simulation is was actually recorded in 3D Studio Max, and we had a system where we could play it back live down, in the it. game through our VFX pipeline. Damn. Yeah, it was very cool. It is amazing so, to hear how much work goes into it, all these minor details <clears throat> that you barely notice. And oh god, my god. Damn it, why are you running in front of the thing? You that sectopod. The sectopod has... Those leg animations are not canned. They are procedurally targeted on the ground and on the areas it's stepping on. Oh, that is sexy. There is, there was a man named Joachim Hagdahl, I'm mispronouncing his name probably because he's a Swede, who wrote most of the code for those legs and their procedural uh, targeting, and he did a kick-ass job on it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, easiest way to defeat a sectopod, taunt yep. it and shoot the shit out of the back. That is the way you're supposed to kill them. Now, you think this fight is hard, and it is. It's supposed to be hard. Sectopods used to have plasma miniguns, not laser miniguns. Yeesh. Well... I thought they were plasma, because, you know, it's green. No. That is a VFX bug that we were unable to fix. Uh, I just always assume green plasma, red laser. That's correct, although we had to switch them to having laser miniguns, because otherwise they were much, much too difficult to kill. They would just shred your entire team in seconds. At this Especially for having game. level 2 squaddies. Yeah. Yeah, having level 2 agents. Back here. Back on you, Commander. It's very, very difficult. <sighs> Down. I almost didn't notice those guys popping in. Yeah, they jump over the wall right where you're aiming, actually. They're difficult to notice. They're intended to sort of ambush you a little bit after the sectopod. I should, it also should be noted, I love the sound of the gun. Mm hmm. It's a very TIE Fighter sound. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something roaring, some kind of like monster. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a lot of. I'm not a huge fan of the music in the game, but the I love sound this, design. This, I love. One, yeah. this particular piece is very good, though, yes. And there's a little awkward edit here, it's just some recording bug. Yeah. This game does not play nice with fraps every single time. 
but most well, of it's it, fine. it was more, that was where I originally planned to edit the videos in half, but then one was like 30 and one was 7 minutes, so... Yeah. That's my fault. So in an earlier incarnation of this level, you actually would have gone through that door to your right. This, uh, did not, this under tunnel did not exist. There were actually a couple of little popcorn enemies that ambushed you in this area. Which were extremely nasty surprise because you saw the resupply station and then a couple jackasses popped out to try and kill you. Oh, so they look, what kind what's of that? Enemy? Oh they yeah, just here outsiders. we go. Ooh. Our first uh, backpack. Backpack! Okay, backpacks. We originally had three types of equipment. Cuffs, backpacks, and belts. We only ended up having packs. Um, up in the air whether that was a good decision or a bad decision. It certainly simplified things a lot, and it made it much easier to test, so thank you. <laughs> um, I, backpacks. I, don't, I don't mind it, uh, the, yeah. but only like a small handful of them are truly useful. That is correct, yes. Um, you I guess I should quickly explain this particular backpack. <laughs> Nah, this particular backpack it. just uh, gives you bonus headshot damage. This is a great backpack for Carter. This is a terrible backpack for an agent. A lot of they don't, sh are they don't shoot that. heads. You want this happening they to don't. The whole country? They then do not. Fight. But now I got those cool metal wires running down my arm, so... Yes, now your cuff is connected. And fucking Ashby oh, des decides... God, he did. Oh, he did. Jesus. He sits out a large portion I of this fight. I can't believe we didn't catch that. That was a known bug when we shipped. Attack! Agents did not always get properly teleported into the encounter space. Mm. You'll probably see that a couple more times. Most yes. of the time is okay. You're correct here. The first thing you do in this fight is kill that turret. Once yeah. you do that, the rest of the fight is... You do whatever the hell you like. And yet, you said, there's still plenty of explosive barrels around. Yes, we couldn't remove any of them from this level. Didn't want to rebuild Finish the pathing data. This level was another level that was extremely hard to make performant for the consoles. Yeah. I told my commando to shoot the barrel, but he's just shooting the wall there. That was one of the reasons why we had we cut the barrels. They didn't conform very well to our cover metrics, and so they were very difficult for the agents to target. I've noticed particularly commandos have a lot of trouble shooting stuff behind walls. I've seen many times my commando just emptying clip after clip into like waist-high cover. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Commandos get weapons that are very vulnerable to that. Mm. All of the when agents they do work, don't have great. amazing. The agents don't have amazing accuracy, and they never will. But there are a lot of agents are there for their powers. Let's put it this way: they're there for the tech powers. I was, I was about to say, like you're not relying on their guns; you're relying on all the other cool shit they can their, do. Their guns are not. Are their guns are just sort of window dressing on the fact that they are. Their power. They are definitely. Power, they're your little power bitches, <laughs> basically. And they do that job very, very well. That little barrel is quite helpful. That barrel is very helpful. Get that uh, slow motion fall there. It's pretty great. Yeah, he's not going to be able to hit that guy. Yeah. But you are. Also, one thing I noticed is if, if you clear out some of these guys, eventually that door there will open. Yes, it's on a timer. Oh, it's a timer. I thought it yes. was killing all the guys had, inside it. We that or a timer. It's one or the other. Uh, we had a lot of bugs relating to enemies getting stuck in that area back there, and the player not being able to kill them. So if they get stuck ever, the door will just open on its own eventually. So you uh, can there. go in there and progress and not get you know blocked by. And my my recon finally joins the fray. It's because you moved far enough forward. We have a leashing, a uh, little leashing detection thing on the agents, where if you move far enough away from them, they'll teleport to you. Ah. So that's, that's why Ashby got Take teleported into the, into the encounter area. Without that, we would have some pretty bad problems, where if the agents ever got stuck outside a combat area, they would just never come back. Right. And here's where this encounter gets really difficult. Because your agents can't kill those drones. You can tell them to, they're not gonna do it. Well, if you tell them to take cover in here, the drones can't really hit them very well, so it's not so bad. Yeah, the problem is you have four enemies here, three of which can only be killed by the player, and the fourth of which is extremely tough and not very vulnerable to whatever the agents can do. But well, the way I found it is always kill drones first, otherwise mm -hmm. this happens. Yeah, this is super aggravating. This, people went back and forth about this throughout the development cycle of the game. 
eventually the healing was toned down to the point where it wasn't that bad, but now you have a shield commander shielding the drones, and that can become extremely nasty if the shield right. commander stays alive long enough to shield more than one drone at once. I know you said, like, the, the squaddies are actually really bad at killing drones, but they get a couple of skills later that make them much better at killing well, crit strike uh, mechanics. Stuff, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just talking about, um, regular gunfire. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. <laughs> Yeah. That, if you watch my Vanquish yeah. Let's Play, you'd know that uh, I punch enemies at any and every opportunity. You are a great person and a credit to humanity. My goal is to kill a couple mutons that way. It's possible. It's recommended. Because, frankly, nothing truly says welcome to Earth like punching the biggest, baddest armored guy in the face. one of those reactor spheres. <laughs> Looks like what we saw at Groom Range. Check out that VFX. This whole town is transforming. Nice. And it starts with these seeds. And they act fast. And I don't think they're gonna stop here. But we still don't know why. I really do like the concept of the seeds. Find Dr. Weir and get back here. Nanomachines, son. <laughs> that's that's how outsider tech works. It's nanomachines. I missed this my first time through the game. Yeah, look at that. This is what's changing the whole town. Can we stop it? We couldn't in Groom Range. We'd be lucky if we're still alive. But why are they building here? It's not just here. They want to do it to our whole world. Carter is picking this up really fast. Yeah, he's prescient. Or something. Something. Hmm. Look at that area off to the left. Hmm. The observatory is compromised. A lot of arena or is cover assistant. there. We're going a lot in. of cover. Get ready on the evac. It's gonna be touch and go. On the way. Touch and go. Like that song also, from Top Gun. <laughs> nice. Also, I should note, I just I love the design for all the backpacks in the game. Even though some are objectively useless, they all look really cool. We had the models way before we actually had the stats for them. But uh, we, we had some supremely talented artists working on them that did absolutely bang up jobs on the cuffs and the backpacks. <gasps> Holy fucking shit, what the hell is that? <gasps> it's an asset from the E3 demo. <laughs> time. You must collect your data before I lose control of the gate. Incredible! Alan, take the measurements! Yes, I see it now. We've been detected! You must escape! Hurry! No, no! There's so much to understand! Dr. Weir. That's not the we gun I was using. Now. Ah, uh, pre rendered cutscenes. I'll try my best to delay them, but they'll be coming now. You must get Dr. Weir to safety. He is the key. The key to Mosaic. Understood. <laughs> I like how Carter doesn't question that at all and just goes, okay, we're leaving. Yeah. Who uh, this is all you people anyway. Weir has a much better reaction. Look, all you need to know is we're here to save you. I don't recall asking for help from the likes of bloody hell. And this is why you need help, Dr. Weir. <laughs> mm -hmm. <gasps> wow, it's moving the trees. Take cover, Doctor! Now! So, oh, about Lawrence. As, let, me, let me just take a wild guess as to the development thing. Mm -hmm. Initially, he's supposed to be like the Infiltrator, right? The Infiltrator was originally actually an Infiltrator. The Infiltrator you see in the first level, Prelude, is actually a sleepwalker. The Infiltrator what? was originally... Yeah, that Infiltrator's a sleepwalker. The Infiltrator uh, was originally an alien with a mimic shield that looked like a human. Uh, Weir, was, uh, Weir was originally supposed to have worked with Lawrence for a long time. Lawrence was supposed to be an Infiltrator who had defected. That's, that's what I guess. Yes. So, Instead, we had to rewrite him as a, a sleepwalker uh, because we cut Infiltrators from the game. Right. Because later on in... I think the next video, actually, you'll, you'll hear a couple of references to Lawrence as like, I can't believe you were working with one of them. And Precisely. Which, that was which confused to me, because I'm like, what do you mean? He's a sleepwalker. Oh, it's not right. his fault. You're talking about the infiltrator in the base, excuse me. Yes, he's the last remaining infiltrator because we needed a tutorial encounter. Speaking of encounters, welcome to your first gunship fight. It won't be your last. And by the time you're done with them, you're really going to fucking hate this enemy. <laughs> Yeah, this this was a bit of a wall for me the first time I encountered it. It is supposed to be a wall, because unless you figure out how to kill gunships in this mission, you're never going to figure it out. I'm not sure I did figure it out. I just told my guys to deal with most of it. It's difficult. It's a very difficult uh, encounter to, to get through safely. 
but it's not helped little... by the fact that it's hard to find where the hell the gunship is at any given point in time. Yeah, typically I have my squaddies just like pecking away at it and slowly uh, chipping it down. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, the... Oh shit, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Despite that, the gunship is actually an enemy I'm... I'm... I am proud of in this game. It is a fun, it is a fairly fun enemy to fight when you get a little bit more in your toolbox. Oh yeah, definitely. And it is threatening as all hell. Need a medic, Commander! Healing engaged! It's a, a, it is a very fast, loud enemy. I love it. It is, it is a very, very cool looking too. There was there was a excellent um, uh, there's an absolutely excellent amount of stuff in it, including the uh, animations on the engines and everything. I meant to lift the commander, but I missed him earlier. Speaking of the commander, we just heard him talk. That isn't bullshit stuff. Our writers actually came up with a language for the outsiders. They have a real language with real words. And they are actually saying things with that. I don't have the voice acting script still, but I do know that everything they're saying is an actual dialogue piece rendered in the outsider language, much like the uh, company beats have in Halo. Nice. Now, most of the, uh, most of the things with the uh, ship here, I notice when I shoot it, most places, very little damage, but mm -hmm. the engines are its weak point, yep, right? That's right, the engines are the weak point. Like all video games, shoot the glowy bits. Yeah, although in this case, well, most of it glows. On that one. Mm. Well, I hit it with the uh, command, sorry, the commando's taunt ability, so it turns it green. Yeah. I do like that effect, though. It's it's necessary for determining what is and what isn't, uh, you know, affected by an ability. Was Although taunt ever meant to some. be able to taunt groups of enemies? Oh um, no, taunt was never an AOE ability. There were some abilities that were AOEs, but taunt was always intended as a sort of uh, it was intended as a carpy of the enrage plasma from Bioshock, essentially. Right. It is one of the more useful Look, abilities in the game. It's a Call of Duty gunship death animation. <laughs> I, I love this death animation, though. I really do. It is cool. I hope the bits fly out. <laughs> Jeez. So Fine. Okay. We've recovered Dr. Weir. Well done, Carter. Well done. Barnes, if you're in the neighborhood, we could use a lift. Roger that. Let's get the hell out of here. Skips around me for a bit. Thank you, Agent Carter. I never would have made it out of here without you. Uh, oh, damn. You know what? I know why oh, he's doing that. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> I know why oh. he was doing that. Uh, anyway, we only got a few seconds yeah. left. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you guys will join me for the next video where we go back home. Home? Home base. Inside a bottle? That's Carter's real home. You know that, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. See you.